Hi guys, I am Crafting Creature, aka Marissa, and today I am going to learn how to embroider, or at least try. I got a little chaotic with what I needed to get. So, do you guys think I got enough? Wait, here's the thing. My sister, excuse me, my sister got a puppy who isn't really a puppy anymore. But when she first got said puppy, um, sister wanted me to make a Christmas stocking for her. I did not make this, I got this at Joanne's. But she wanted the puppy's name to be here with an embroidered silent princess flower from Breath of the Wild Legend of Zelda game. I am not ready for that, <laughs> so I have, um, I got an embroidery hoop, I think is what this is called. Yes, embroidery hoop. So there's that. I got this kit from Amazon. Um, <laughs> I will try to include all of the links of whatever I got. I don't know if any of it's gonna be good, but I got this one. I think all of it were like $20 or less, at least at the time that I bought them. I don't think I would have spent more money on a hobby that I don't know if I like slash be good at. I think this was from Joanne's. It's just a pack of embroidery floss because the Silent Princess flower is a very blue flower, has a lot of different hues of blue, and I needed more than what is in the kit. So I got this, um, just in case. I might not get to this because honestly, I need to learn before I try to do her stocking, but we'll see. I got this kit. Um, large pack embroidery floss set. And I got this, which is just a pack of fabric that is supposed to be good for embroidery. <laughs> um, okay. I'm overwhelmed. I thought that I would just attempt to do a simple design and that'll be it for this video, to be honest. I'll probably have an embroidery playlist and then I'll have a a sewing playlist because I'm trying to learn both at the same time. I'm not really sure if it's a good idea or a stupid idea, so we'll find out, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm gonna um, turn you around so you can see what I'm doing. All right. Let's just open it and see what we got. It'll be in an unboxing video. Oh, this is fancy. So there's this. These are pretty colors. I figured that if I use these, I can just take the cardboard part. So I could just keep reusing these little holder things. Wow, these are so pretty. Nice, more pins. I love to see it. We got some new notions here. So buttons, snaps, safety clips, a little sponge thing that's in the shape of a shirt. I'm not really sure why I need that. A threader, that's handy. Measuring tape, and probably a thimble. Ooh, a pin cushion, nice. Pink cutter, a seam ripper, needle, more pins, safety pins. I am actually not sure what this is. Maybe another kind of threader? A threader, same middle thing as before. So maybe another threader. So that's what's in there. I'm assuming that these would come off in the wash. Um, okay, let's open set number two. Oh. Okay, so pretty much the same deal as before. Ooh, they have more of these, that's cool. Oh, I wonder what that's for. I do like this container more than this container though. I don't know if y'all have tried to open these before, but they are scary. <laughs> You try to open it and then one move too fast and then it explodes and rolls everywhere. I am not sure what this is for. There's like a flower on top and then it's just flat here. Does anybody know what this is for? Oh, I think it might be wax. Is it to like rub on the fabric or something? I'm not sure why you would need to do that. All of the tutorials that I've seen have not had any wax. These colors are really pretty. Oh good, and there's there's four layers of colors. This is very watermelon. This is more like uh, sunset. Um, I'm probably just gonna stick with these because they're already rolled up. I think I'll probably start with this one. Although, I don't know, it might be 
see that a small hoop is actually harder because it's tinier detail, but I'm gonna try a smaller one. And we have some really, really stiff fabric. I don't have a lot of this fabric. There's only three sheets, but they're all this big. I'm kind of leaning towards using this just because I have a lot of sheets here. And also, it'll just take up this much space, so. Do I know what I'm gonna use this for? No. <laughs> yeah, this fabric feels like a canvas, so I think it'll be good. It is very stiff, so I'm hoping that it'll be good to embroider on. I am not really familiar with how these things work. There's not any directions that came with any of the kits. So loosen it. Loosey goosey. Okay, I think it's still a little too tight with the fabric in place. So we're just loosening it a little bit more. And then you kind of do it like a cookie cutter. <laughs> like you're pressing it into the dough. That might not be tight enough. How do you hold it? How do you make it tighter? It's still pretty bouncy, but I'm not sure how to else to make it. Oh. 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 Okay, you just kind of pull on it while it's in there. Which makes me feel like I'm about to tear it, but <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is really doing anything. You know what? We're just gonna tighten it. Okay, let's close it up. Okay, since this is my first time embroidering something, let's just keep it simple with like straight edges um, and simple things. So, <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna do the first letter of my name and then I'll have like flowery vine growing on it. I think that'll be easy adjacent for me to do for the first time embroidering. <laughs> do I know how to write an M? <laughs> okay, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's make that. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then between here and here. I actually like M's a lot more when the middle point doesn't go all the way to the bottom. Maybe I could have like a flower that's like growing out of it or something. I don't know. Yeah, and then we'll just have like little flowers. That's the design. I'm done drawing. I just <laughs> Okay. Can this be erased? Oh, we can! I'm trying to think light thoughts, so my pencil doesn't draw too dark and I can't erase it. <laughs> I mean, if it's off center, I can always just cut around it. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I'm really not sure if I should have tried to make it more taut, but I also just don't know how to do that. I'm just gonna draw the basic shape and I'm gonna pretend like I'm gonna remember what I wanna do while I'm embroidering it. I think I'll use the dark green. It's not like super dark. Oh wait, I have more colors, I forgot. I'm kinda thinking this one because it's more vibrant. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. That's the vines. Okay, this one's really pretty. I like that one more. We could do this Ooh, let's do this. Okay. That'll be the flower. Kind of leaning towards the M being gray, like a stone wall. I'm not gonna do the texture of a stone wall. Yeah, I think I'll do these three as like a gradient to like shade it when it gets darker. I'm also not sure how to secure it. Let's use the threader because I'm far too lazy to try to do this myself. Okay. Oh God. Oh god, okay, we're good. This might be too big of a needle. I'm not nervous, are you guys nervous? You shouldn't be nervous, guys. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's a much better way of securing your ends, but I don't know what that is. This is kind of stressful. <laughs> um, I think this is satin stitch. Three, 
me just go around like you just you know go back and forth but i could be wrong i don't want to get too close to the other holes that i've made because i don't want to just completely tear my fabric but i also don't know what i'm doing <laughs> It also help if I made straight lines. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just time lapse this because it's gonna take a while <laughs> just based on the evidence that I have. <laughs> it does really bother me that that one is so not straight, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm learning. It's fine. <laughs> It does make really satisfying noises. <laughs> Let's see what the back looks like. Oh, yeah, that looks like a back. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go into time lapse. <laughs> This is what I have so far. It's very impressive, I know. Um, here's the back. It looks terrible, but that's fine. I was actually pretty much straight for the inside line for that little part. <laughs> I'm getting kind of frustrated and tired of this project, and I found myself wishing that it was done. So that means it's time for a break. I do like the gradient. One thing that I was really taking into consideration at first, but then I kind of stopped caring, was um, how much thread would be used on the back. So you can see that it's like very tiny, but then I, I just stopped caring. It was easier for me to make straight stitches if I just, I wasn't going like da 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 da, and so I was just going this way. Um, which I don't even know if it looks that good, <laughs> so it might not have even been worth it, but I was tired, so. <laughs> I think this is a good stopping point. I'll do the roses and the vines uh, later because I'm tired of this project. <laughs>
Okay guys, that's it. I, I actually really like how it turned out. I think it looks pretty. Um, not a huge expert on uh, the bullion stitch, I think is what it's called. Um, <laughs> I think the best that I got was this one, but then I kind of messed it up by trying to secure it. <laughs> I don't understand how to do this yet, but um, yeah, my final thoughts are um do not do this when you're tired <laughs> uh i did really enjoy it making all the little stacks of lines was really tedious and i was just kind of thinking like okay if i don't like it now and it's the very first thing that i'm doing is making this great m i'm not sure if i'm gonna like it but then I had a lot of fun with the vines and trying to figure out how to do the flowers. I think I just picked a really hard first step. <laughs> so I don't know what I should have done, what, what design I should have picked as a first thing. Maybe like basic shapes is what I should have done. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I do not post every single week, but when I do, it is on a Saturday around noon. See y'all next time. Bye!